This is the grand opening and ribbon cutting of the new museum at the Gateway Arch, and we're standing here in the new lobby. So this is a brand new building. It's a 46,000 square foot addition to the previous facility in the museum and visitor center. So we're in a wonderful light-filled lobby with views of downtown St. Louis and the old courthouse. And with the new renovations to the park and that connection over the interstate highway, it's so easy, it's so comfortable to come to the Gateway Arch. My father would have been quite pleased by the connection that was actually made between the arch grounds and the city itself. And he would, I think, be quite pleased by the landscape architect's uh, vision of how that could work. And I love the circle and the way it, it expresses and complements the arch. Well, they've done a great, they've done a great job with, with the renovation. And this is the first time in 52 years that there's been a major renovation here, you know? So it was something I think was desperately needed. So we're wrapping up about three years of construction on the entire park. Uh, that includes 5.4 miles of new pathways all around the park. You can bicycle, bike share, jog around the park. A new natural amphitheater area by the Eads Bridge, and then also this new museum. This is really an exciting day. I think one of the things that is most exciting to me is this is an example of how government is supposed to work. There's so much noise out there about how bad government is, how bad everyone in government is. This was a partnership between private charitable giving, the federal government, the state government, the local government, and most importantly, the people of the St. Louis region that decided it was worth it to tax themselves slightly in order to keep this important monument at its tip-top shape like it is today. And we commemorated and celebrated this brand new entrance opening and the new museum at the Gateway Arch opening to the public. This also marks the completion of the City Arch River Project, which were many, many components, uh, including Keener Plaza, the riverfront, and improvements throughout the park. People also came inside and saw the new exhibits. It's still about the westward expansion of the United States, but these great new exhibits tell St. Louis's story as gateway to the west. People that went on those trails bought their supplies here on the riverfront. So people learned all about the history of this city and all about the history of the West. I've traveled to many countries as part of my work. Every time I say I'm from St. Louis, they say the arch. <laughs> and so it is St. Louis. It is so identified with us. And I think to make it this incredible unifying force with the courthouse and with all of downtown, it's going to be great for people visiting our community and it's going to be great for all of us who live here. Anytime I I fly in and I see the arch, I know I'm home, you know, so for me it's, it's represented a lot since 1982, since coming here and going up in it, and people didn't know, but I was very claustrophobic, and you know, my first ride up in it was, uh, it was exciting, but at the same time it was a little scary for me, being the burly man that I am, you know. <laughs> it's our backyard, it's the front door to our city that everybody experiences when they come to visit us, and we just want them to know that there are all kinds of opportunities all year long to come down and enjoy this park. If they visit our website, the gatewayarchpark.org, we have a list of events and activities. Most of them are free for the public to enjoy. There's more fun to come. Tomorrow, Fair St. Louis kicks off. Come down for the great music, air show, fireworks. It's a party here at the Arch. And it's so great to have it back here at the Gateway Arch National Park.